This is a a six gang rocker switch. Um, I don't know, addition to my truck. What I had was one of those those double din um, fillers that filled this whole thing up here. The radio sat down here. A little slot sat across here, but I never used that. So what I did was ordered, I'll put a picture, uh, I'll try to put a picture into the description. I ordered a plate off of eBay and originally it was about four inches uh, high and seven inches long. I was gonna put it here, but when I got it, I've quickly figured out that it would not fit in here and I was kind of leery about cutting this area out into my dash anyways. So, what I did was, I can't get this thing out of here. It is a pretty tight fit, which is good. It's not a bad thing. But what I did was I cut, right here on the top and then I cut right here on the bottom and I left just a little bit on the top and bottom of the rocker switches I didn't I did not I didn't cut the sides at all um, but what I did do was drilled my own holes I had to redrill some holes because the holes were originally up here and here on both sides. And this thing came with a little voltmeter. Lights up red and it displays 12 volts or whatever. It came with uh, two USB ports. And it also came with an additional kind of like cigarette lighter. And this is how they had them oriented on there. So I was kind of bummed that I had to cut these out of the top to make this thing work. But I figure I already have these 250s already have two cigarette lighters in them. One here and one down here. So later on I started thinking and looking at them. I think what I'm going to do is take the voltmeter the voltage gauge put it right here next to the four-wheel drive switch and since my radio doesn't have a USB port that would be kind of cool so I'm gonna put this right here right under the the volt voltmeter and this is cool because it lights up blue um, so you can see it uh, and then the other thing I did was I got an angle bracket angle bracket and put it back here I had to drill a little bit out of that and then I got another angle bracket and put it back here it looks hokey but when the plate is in there you can't see them at all and then what I mounted those two was the air conditioner vents you know I picked inside of here there is a lever that this uh, left this little wheel works on it's a lever system so I drilled through real quick and I picked my spots to put some tiny screws. And this thing still still works. It still works right. Even though it has screws going going into the side of it, it still works. And then I just slide the radio in. And then after that, I just put this up here. And it just fits. It pretty much fits perfect in there. It's got to be custom though. You, you have to grind this down and make it and you have to make sure it's fairly level on top and bottom. And I did all my measurements between the bottom and the top and the top of the radio to the top of the dash. I did all those. It fits perfect this ways, but not this way when you get it. And I don't think that even if you bought one um, smaller, I 
I still don't think it would fit in there. You would still have to grind it out. So I cut maybe, I don't know, that much off what I used at first to get the, all the extra, um, uh, all that extra metal off. It's, I think it's actually like cast aluminum. So it's really easy to cut into. Very, very easy material to work with. It's not like steel or anything. So I just use like some tin snips and cut along the sides on both sides. And then what I did was I took it to my grinder and evened it out. And then after that, I took a little hand file to get this smooth edge right here. And it is smooth. But yeah, if you take your your dash frame off right here you'll look back here you'll see your vents they have uh tiny little phillips screws holding them in and i don't know if i can i don't think i can let me see if i can get my flashlight yeah you can't really see but back there is where i screwed it in just right into the side of the vent right into the side of this one and then um I, there, up, up on this one, on this right side, there's a screw that's right in line, just like this. It's just in line, so this bracket right here is pretty much straight. So I didn't really have to do anything with that. I did have to form this bracket to screw into this vent. Yeah, I screwed into the vent, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect the, the operation of it. You know, air doesn't come out here. It's still pretty tight. Air comes out of here completely. And, uh... The best thing about doing it this way is I didn't have to cut into my dash. There is zero modification to my dash. That's that's the thing I was going for. But yeah, this thing is so so long it will come over to here and then it comes out to about here. So there's really no way to mount it in other place than this. So that's just what I did. I wanted to have some rocker switches, so because I have toggle switches right here, and they're just a pain in the ass. I want to get these moved out of here and wire them in up here. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. So if, if you're looking for a place to put six toggle switches, it's gonna have to be custom. It's gonna take some time, but you can fit them right above the radio. It's kind of cool because it's an even spacing between all three uh, components. The the, um, the air conditioning heater and all that crap and the radio and the toggle switches are all pretty much the same width. This way and this way. So that's just, I thought I'd, I was looking for... Um, F-250 toggle switch mounts and I just couldn't find anything so I figured you know what the hell you know this might help somebody else out so if you're looking for some rocker switch ideas this is what I have and it works perfect it's it's it, there's no freaking there's no issue at all with this thing the way it's mounted up um, this thing will get scarred up a little bit the paint will chip off when you're grinding it down but just repaint spray paint it and it'll look fine and then, for the faceplate of the radio, I'm going to cut right here and there so it can fit back into here on both sides. And that way I can still, it'll still look pretty clean. But, yeah, if, um, if you guys are looking for a way to mount six rocker switches, that looks good. I think this is the way to go because you don't have any room unless you go down here, and that's you know you're gonna have to cut this too. So, have any questions? Uh, just leave a, a comment or whatever, and then uh, I'll get on there and try and answer them as clearly and as best as I can. But this worked out pretty good. I'm pretty pretty dang happy with this. And that this other stuff, this isn't, these aren't a complete waste. I mean, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use 
this 12 volt cigarette lighter. I don't need three in there, especially if I, I wire this up right here. And then this, I don't know, it's just, this would look kind of cool. It lights up red, just put it in there. So the voltage meter right there and the USB right there, but yeah, um, I know it's a long video. I tried to explain it as much as I could, but if you guys have any questions, like I said, just leave a comment. All right.